Max Spears, a British conspiracy theorist, died seven months ago in Warsaw. But there's still a question mark over how he died. Had Max relapsed into drugs in Poland? And who was he with? A descending silence is making it hard to get to the answers. Have you, have you had any contact with her since the night that he died? Yes, I have. I spoke to Monica for probably a couple of weeks. Okay. She was kind. She lived in a lovely house and she'd said to Max, you know, come stay here for a while. I've got a couple of good business things that we can get going. Do you think it was just a business relationship? No, I don't. Um, I believe there was a lot of pressure from the other side, not from him. Mm. Why do you think Monica stopped being in contact? I don't know what happened, but I know that there's been a lot of people suggesting a lot of things and pointing a lot of fingers in her direction. I'm sure that she wants to go very quiet. Some of the people caught up in Max's story have been attacked or accused online by other conspiracy theorists. It's all got pretty bitter from what I can see. Monica's certainly not alone in going quiet. Perhaps she's afraid. But as far as we know, she was the last person with him. Vanessa told me that Monica sent her Max's phone and computer, but that the laptop had been almost completely wiped. Maybe by Max, maybe by someone else. I head to an address where we think Monica may have lived. This is the only house that we can find in relation to Monica DeVal. Um, it's the only address that we can find with any attachment to her name. So we don't know if this is the place that Max died but it could be, and that's why we've come here today. We know that he died in this area. Let's just uh, ring the bell and see. <laughs> no, I think there's no, probably no one in. We could leave them a note. Hi, we called earlier from the BBC. Please get in touch with us. OK, I think it might work. Monica is absolutely vital to this story. Monica and Max had some sort of a connection, and I want to know what that is. And if I can find out what that was, then maybe I can find out more about Max and, and who he was. Monica has now been interviewed by the prosecutor in Poland, but we're not allowed to see a transcript. There are, unsurprisingly, some theories that the authorities bumped Max off because of what he knew. There's no evidence of this, and even in the conspiracy world, not everyone thinks Max was credible. We think Mr. Spears is not a credible person, and we based on we based that on the fact that he seems to collect the research of other people and presents, his, presents it as his own. And the super soldier, it's about having special powers, superhuman powers, right? So obviously you can imagine how easy this would be to verify it. Did anyone ever ask him to show his skills? As far as I know, not really. And that's the weird part. They should have done that. As you can see, everything's still as clear as mud. It's hard to work out what happened in Max's last three months when he was based in Poland. We know he was in a sort of relationship with Monica. There's a question mark over whether he relapsed into drugs. And what drew him to Poland in the first place? Why, why do you think Max was so drawn to Warsaw and Poland? Was there a particular the vibe here around conspiracy theories? I'm not sure about, about the vibe. Poland used to be very uh, diverse. Uh... Uh, country after the Holocaust, Poland started started to be um, started to be a communist country. In society, there were almost 50 years of distrust to, towards the communist government. It was very controlled, watched over, and, and there was a lack of uh, political freedom in in Poland. So after the transformation, um, when uh, things changed, uh, many people. Um, were still uh, 
distrustful towards the government. Distrust is something we're definitely coming up against. There's a conference of conspiracy theorists or truth seekers happening in Warsaw. Initially, they were up for us coming and filming, but they changed their mind. We're not welcome even to listen. The shutters are coming down on us. I really wanted to go to this conference, just to listen, just to see what it was like. But they're obviously quite suspicious of the media. Um, we're probably part of the New World Order, uh, as far as they're concerned. So we can't go, but I want, I want to be there. I want to see where Max last gave his, gave, well, gave his last speech. If we can park. I mean, who's not fascinated in a story that possibly involves aliens or satanic cults? At the end of the day, though, Max died in July. Um, and I do worry, and I'm curious whether all of these stories are actually overshadowing the truth of what actually happened to Max. So this is the building where Max gave his last lecture in Poland. We know there are people who knew Max inside the conference. They really don't want us here. But that doesn't stop us going inside and retracing Max's steps. Six, seven months ago, Max was standing pretty much exactly here. From what we've seen, this is one of the last photos of Max alive. Something definite about Max Spears, finally. He felt really accepted here in Warsaw and he felt he'd found some people he could talk to about his beliefs about the world and about himself. Having recognition and people listen to him was probably a very important, very important thing for Max Beers. Conspiracy theories are not based on rational thinking, but they are based on intuition or some sort of uh, distrust. We call this type of reasoning uh, a monological belief system. So this is a, a view that the world is ruled by conspiracies. And uh, the content of the conspiracies doesn't matter. What, uh, what is important is this, this, this uh, level of distrust. We have some data that, could, that prove that co belief in conspiracy uh, theories can lead to, uh, to feelings of power powerlessness. This is uh, some, some, sort, some, sort, some sort of vicious circle. It sounds quite sense. dangerous, especially because you, you can sit online, can't you, for hours and just go through conspiracy theory after conspiracy theory and yeah. speculation. It's not uh, that uh, conspiracies are making uh, people feel uh, more um, uh, more frightful, but, but also we know that uh, frightful uh, people are usually more prone to believe in conspiracies. Max's mum, Vanessa, knew that he was sometimes afraid and anxious. What I worried about was that uh, when he started to uh, get worried about people, um, who were interested in him to the point that they may follow him. He started to think that people at paranoia. certain times... It's a slight paranoia. What was Max afraid of? Whatever it was, it seems that he wasn't the only one afraid for his future. We've been sent some emails that suggest Max was not in a good way. Would you be willing to help uh, Max Spears? I think that he needs an urgent help. Mm.